Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. You might feel like, Alexis, what are you wearing? You look like a highlighter. Well, let me tell you, I am an orientation aide here at William & Mary, which means that I am helping new students with their transition into their first year here at the university. I am so excited, and today is move-in day. Today is the first day of move-in day, which is a huge deal here on campus. We got people lined up on the streets. That's going to be me in a few hours. It's just not my turn yet. And, you know, everybody's moving in. Campus finally feels alive. So for this volunteer position, I had to come here a few days early, and campus was, like, dry as a bone, which is so weird. I'm so not used to it. But, yeah, so I'm super excited, and I figured with everything going on that I'd film a week in the life. But not only that, I'd also give you a tour of my sophomore year dorm, which is DuPont. Um, I want to give a little bit of an in-depth tour. I know there's a few on YouTube, but they're not very good. No offense. So I'm going to take you guys around and show you DuPont and a week in my life. So let's get started. Welcome to my crib. Let me take you around. Mind the step. We have my lovely best friend Livia behind the camera. Livia. Thanks, hi. girl. Hey. Yes. So you enter DuPont and you see the DuPit, the epitome of 70s style. You know, we could all hang around the fireplace that will never be used, but we could hang around the imaginary fire. And let's keep it going. So we have a nice foosball table and a sad excuse for a ping pong table. Fake I don't shrubbery. Think that, oh, it is a ping pong table. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah. It, no, it's a pool oh, table. It's a pool table. Mini oh. pool. Yeah. And then fake shrubbery because William and Mary could not keep green shrubbery a lot, real shrubbery. <laughs> so now we are approaching one of my favorite parts of the dorm which is Olivia's board. Was the moon landing real? I question it. I question whether or not it's real. Honestly, this board was inspired by her. We had a conversation last we have, year. You're, a lot of your boards are inspired by me, aren't they? Yeah, that's actually really true. We'll keep going, though. <laughs> okay, so this is the first hallway. The way DuPont works is that there's an east and a west wing and then three floors on each wing. So I guess there's six different halls, right? And this is the first one. I'm all the way on the third floor, so let's get our steps in. Um, there's eight halls because these two count as one and then there's one below I guess and this is my hall DuPont third East East Lovely right. Len look at the beautiful floors the beautiful pink floors. Oh and the mirror to check your outfit Slay, Slay. <laughs> All right 
So now we are reaching my room, which as you can see, the AC isn't really working, so we have to make do and put a fan out in the hallway next to the trash, I'm sorry, that's my trash, to blow the cold air into the room because it's hot. It's hot in there. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right, so here is 346, the room of the year, and also 309, which is Olivia's room. They're gonna be the best rooms of the year. So you walk in, and this is what you get, an adornment DuPont. So this is my side. I didn't loft my bed this year because that was the biggest mistake I could have made. And in DuPont, honestly, it's pretty spacious. You know, I have all, room for all of this stuff. And we have two closets for both people. Um, as you can see, mine is already packed to the brim. Let me didn't know that both doors open. Um, it's true. And also you have storage up here. I just put all my cleaning supplies and extra stuff that I'm not going to be reusing because I can't reach. So uh, I need some stuff I don't need. And now, my favorite part of the room. No, 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 no. The yellow bathroom. It's so scary. It is a vile, vile color. <laughs> just, just look. Just take a deep look. But... I bought my own shower curtain for this bathroom because the shower curtain was full of hairs when I moved in. It shows the shower floor. Um, the showers at DuPont are really small. Like, if you think you could take up just a body shower, you can't. Your hair will get wet unless you're like this against the wall to make sure that's the Am I wrong? No, it's so true. It's, you're like, or to wash your leg, you're like this. Trying to wash your legs because the water just does not get everything. Hey, but at least we have our own bathroom this year. Yes. And then, so, in terms of storage for the bathroom. What? You didn't know that? No! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's yeah. cool. I'll fix so that. So you have a medicine cabinet to put your stuff away, you know, make it easy. And then you also have a cabinet under the sink, which gives you ample stuff to put your extra stuff, whatever you may need. Um, and yeah, and then this is our sweet mate's room that none of them have moved in yet, so take a look at an empty DuPont room, I guess. Yeah, same layout. Same layout. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Alright. Alright, so now we are in the kitchen and lounge, and so it's actually really nice and spacious in the lounge, I will say. We have a great balcony. Which honestly is awesome because like I feel like there's not enough fresh air in the dorms at William and Mary. So the fact that we're able to come Wait, out Wait, this looks like you're in heaven right now. Why is it not focused? Oh, there we go. Okay, continue. The fact that we're able to enjoy the outside in a dorm is nice because last year it was literally a prison cell. <laughs> not outside. And now for the kitchen that my friends dubbed as the troll kitchen. Because I think you have to be a troll to actually <laughs> cook anything in here. There's a door to enter the kitchen. A hardwood door, okay? So weird. This is the area William and Mary has provided me to cook. <laughs> Where are the windows? Where is the ventilation? That's so also, true. Also, if you're any taller than six feet and it starts smoking in here, you're dying. You're done. You're dead. Because <laughs> it's, all the smoke is just going to be right above your head. It's so sad. It um, is. But there's co-hooks if you really wanted them. <laughs> Thanks. DuPont does have an elevator. DuPont has an elevator, so if you were wondering, because um, a lot of the other dorms don't have elevators, so to move in your stuff, you got an elevator. And it works. Sometimes. No, I'm kidding. It always works. I think. Okay, so now we're in the basement of DuPont. I have never, this is my first time down here. You know, moving is today, so. I've never been down here. What's in here? I literally thought a person lived in there. Oh my god. They would give that to be a dorm. They would. Alright, where's the kitchen? The kitchen is in this way. Is it this? No. Now we're going to enter the kitchen in the basement, which is a little better than the kitchen upstairs, I will say. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, Alright, so here we are. Oh my god, there's two ovens. See, I told you. Oh, this isn't bad. Alright, well here we are in the basement kitchen. So if you ever wanted to cook anything in a properly ventilated kitchen, 
you gotta carry it down three flights of steps. But that's okay. You know, you forget the garlic powder, you gotta run all the way up and then all the way back down. Hey, at least there are windows. There's windows. And the ceilings are more than two feet in the air. For real. Um, but yeah, this looks like an old lab, science lab. Like, I feel like I'd have class. Right? What's in here? It's weird. I don't know. Is it locked? Oh my god, there's glitter all over the floor. What? Let me see. Let the camera- let the people see! What? Oh, wait, where's the glitter? It's down more. Oh my gosh. A unicorn threw up. <laughs> weird. What is it? Olivia, you have to find out. There's a toaster! We have to take the toaster. So we have a new addition to the room, and she's going to give you a quick room okay. tour. So here we have some pictures in my calendar that I have nothing on yet. Here's my nice little desk. We have a nice diffuser in the corner. You can't see. It smells really nice, though. It does. My makeup, a mirror, a picture of me and Miss Alexis, Abby and Alexis. Yes. Um, and then we have, I'm not done decorating yet, but some lights and some posters. There's three more posters coming. Here is my bed, and we sort of match with the pink, gray, white thing going on. So yes, yeah. my bed's a bit of a mess, but yeah. All right. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Alright, so that was a little montage of the week in my life as an orientation aide and a tour of DuPont Hall. I really hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, a lot of the boring parts were cut out, such as going around orientation and listening to the guest speakers and stuff. So def this definitely is more of a fun version of my week. It wasn't all fun and games throughout the entire process. I am literally exhausted. But it was so fun and it was so rewarding and if you're interested in becoming an orientation aide, I definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have an awesome rest of the semester. Hopefully I will be posting more.